Good day, Purple People. This is Rhett Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. What's going on, people? Mm. Glad to be here today. I'm doing a sauce review. I haven't done one of those in a while. I got a couple of ghost sauces. Um, one of the things I know I showed this in my last video. This is the coolest thing ever. Hot sauce holder from Old Agnes Store. My wife bought that. And it came with hotter than L ghost sauce. And then I got this one too, um, Born Nahula. I had this for a little while, I need to open it. Uh, Born Nahula Ghost of Ancho Hot Sauce. So I've read both of these. Um, I got a lot of sauce here, guys, check this out. That's, uh, that's not including what's in the cabinet below, that's just what I got right there, plus tinctures and all other stuff and challenges and other stuff, so. Got a lot of stuff I got to get through. Anyway, I'm super excited about this stuff because uh, I've been wanting to try these two sauces, especially this one for a long time. And, and this Hotter Nell, I've not had anything from Hotter Nell. I have had some stuff from uh, Born Hula, and I really like their sauces. So this ghost sauce from um, Handcrafted Hot Sauce, Jacksonville, Florida, Hotter Than L. Um, I'm going to take a picture of the ingredients because... Uh, very small and my eyesight isn't what it used to be so let's take a picture of that I'll uh, magnify it so then I can really see it because these eyes ain't what they used to be guys you know uh, you get older you'll understand some of you that are a little younger some people younger have worse eyes than I got so I'm pretty thankful I welded for 30 years and I still can read stuff pretty good so let me see back out to about there so here's the ingredients in it. Distilled vinegar, diced tomatoes, which consists of tomatoes, tomato juice, and salt. Carrots, onions, garlic, jalokia peppers, and salt. Very simple ingredients. There's a lot going on in there. That, my friends, is a simple ghost sauce, which I love ghost peppers. Um, I just ate that super ghost in the last video. Come to find out, it was crossed with a BOC. It was not... Super Ghost was a great uh, name for that pepper because it was really hot, um, hotter than any ghost that I've ever had. So, not very ghostly, in my opinion. But anyway, um, I got that from Chase Gustine. Uh, Colfax Pepper Patch, really good guy. Growing some amazing pods. Uh, just a really, really good guy. So, I know I usually smell, don't far read the ingredients, but I already read the ingredients on this. Um, I wanted to do two ghost pepper sauces and, and just try to signal out between the two so I know it's out of character oh well um, so anyway I won't be I won't be uh, trying and obtaining it I'll be using my mother pearl sauce spoon here's the deal with this guys this is an inert um, it doesn't change the flavor they probably have other stuff that'll change they won't change the flavor but I know this doesn't and I like this size uh, it's a perfect size for me to get a good taste um, so I use it uh, you can get those if you're interested at johnnyscoville.com um, that's where I got it, Chase the Heat you guys know me oh by the way this is another great trick this is a the fat end of a wooden chopstick so um, you get that sauce plug in the end that you can't beat like you're banging on trying to get this gets done um, it's that sauce plug in the neck, but anyway, ooh, man, it smells good. It's cheating a little bit. I gotta wash that though. Put it right there. I'm loving the vinegar in this. Um, I can kind of read it without my glasses. Um, I'm surprised. I know I'm definitely getting the garlic in it doesn't really say anything else like any kind of other seasonings so here we go guys it's hotter than L uh, ghost sauce you guys let me know if you've had some of the hotter now I know some of you guys have I have not so I'm looking forward to this it's really chunky there's a lot of stuff going on in that dripping a little bit Wow. That sauce is very unique. Um, Steve Berlin, uh, Old Agnes Store, said he liked that sauce. 
and I really do. This is a good sauce. Heat-wise, this is really chunky. It's almost like a salsa with the tomatoes. You guys can see that. Probably see me making a mess of what you're seeing. Anyway, smell that. Smell it. Good stuff right there. Um, this sauce with all the tomatoes and the garlic in it, pizza, spaghetti, any kind of Italian food for sure. Um, it'd be great to kick up if you got some pico de gallo that you want a little bit hotter. You guys know what pico de gallo is. Um, a little bit of this because it's got tomatoes and the garlic and not the onions in it, but um, it says shake hell, shake well, shake hell, hotter than hell, shake well and refrigerate after opening. We specialize in heat with flavor. I have to say that this has got a lot of flavor going on. Um, you guys can see it's a uh, very chunky. A little bit of separation in it, but um, just make sure, like like I said, shake it up. It's got a lot of seeds in it. I like this. I really like the flavor of that. This is going to be the sauce I'm going to use the next time I eat pizza or any kind of Italian food. That's got any kind of tomato base, anything. Um, might even put this. We made some chicken mole last night. Never made that before. It's really good. This would be really good to add to that. Um, now let's try this. This is Born Nahula's Ghost of Ancho. So the ingredients in this are a little bit bigger, so I can read a little easier. Um, the ingredients this is distilled vinegar, red bell pepper, red habanero pepper mash, which consists of red habanero peppers and salt, ancho chili pepper, ancho chili pepper, water, and salt, uh, orange habanero pepper mash, which is hab orange habanero peppers and salt. So a mash is just the peppers and salt. Um, garlic, smoked ghost chili powder, onion powder, lime juice from concentrate, and some cumin. When I first read this, I didn't pick up on that, that this has ghost chili powder in it, and it's smoked, and onion powder. So ghost of ancho, this says... Um, a multi-award winning ghost pepper sauce with sweet smoky heat that's not for the weak. Add it to all your supernatural dishes and recipes. It's not it's not just a hot sauce, it's a way of life. Shake it up, refrigerate after opening. I love that saying. It's not just a hot sauce, it's a way of life. You guys know um, I eat a lot of hot sauce. I mean a lot. Um, probably not. There's guys out there that eat way more than I do. I don't put it on every meal. I'll be honest with you guys, and I'm going to say this, and I'm probably going to get criticized from some people. Not everything needs to have hot sauce on it. You know, there's certain things that I don't put it on because I don't want to change the flavor. When it comes to that stuff, I usually add a little bit of powder, sometimes a little bit of tincture, uh, but like some things, I just, if I want that certain taste, I don't want it to change the flavor profile, so I don't put hot sauce on everything. But I tell you what, I put hot sauce on most things, so there's that. So let's give this the old snifferoonie, snifflefagus. Wow. Totally different smell than that one. Of course, different ingredients, so it should be, right? I'm definitely getting a little bit of the smokiness. Hopefully it's not too overpowering. Definitely getting the vinegar and smell chilies. It's got like four different kinds in it and the powder. So I love habaneros. I can get them year round here in Vegas. That's a beautiful thing. This one seems to be a little more pureed. So the consistency of this is a little smoother. It's not as chunky, which, hey, I like sauces anyway. I'm going to tell you. But it's like, well, I prefer a sauce that's. Oh, everything's blended really good in it. I prefer a sausage chunky. I like them all, you know, especially if they got good flavor. Um, that's how I am. So let's check this one out. It does have some chunkies in it. So you guys can catch that. 
Yeah, it's picking up my face. Anyway, this is Born to, Born to Hula Hot Sauce Ghost of Ancho. I'm Griffin Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy, pepper people. Wow. That's very unique. Two ghost pepper sauces, completely different. This sauce would be better with the mole. It's really rich. It's got a, a, a rich flavor to it. Um, I will tell you, this will overpower something if you use a lot of it. And I like to use a lot of sauce, so um, yeah, it would definitely overpower it. But it's as good. So that's a good, good sauce right there. I really like that one a lot. I like it a lot. Um, trying to think of the best thing to put this on. I'm, I'm gonna put this. I'm, I'm gonna eat that chicken mole with it. I think it's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna give it that that rich bold flavor. Um, get a little bit of the smokiness, which adds to a really unique flavor profile. It's not like, and I've had a couple of sauces that were smoky. This one's definitely unique. It doesn't taste like the other one, so I really like this. This is a really good sauce. I can't quite put my finger on. I'm trying to think. It, almost, it tastes like something, but I can't put my finger on. Now, I'm not talking about the heat. I'm talking about the flavor of it. I can just can't put my finger on. Maybe this isn't working as good as it used to. Got a little bit of COVID fog from when I got that virus. You guys know you can do that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Two sauces. I will tell you, I like I like both of these a lot. Let me know if you've had either one of these. The Hotter Than, Hotter Than L um, Ghost Sauce and this Born to Hula Ghost of Ancho. Um, you guys let me know if you've had either one of those. In my opinion, both of those are good sauces. They're definitely worth picking up. Um, if you like smokiness, now I'm not sure. It says smoke powder, and it's not super smoky. I tell you guys what I'm not a fan of. I do a lot of barbecue. I actually got some jerky on the smoker right now. I don't like liquid smoke. That's... You buy in the store, you can add to something. Hey, look, if you live in a place you can't have a barbecue grill, you're trying to add a little smoke flavor, you're cooking something in your oven, whatever, hey, use that stuff. If you don't like, maybe you don't know how to barbecue. Uh, you want that smoky flavor and you just don't know how to get it, use it. But I know how to do that stuff, and I've never really been a big fan of, of liquid smoke. It's got a certain flavor and it's really strong. I don't care for it. This doesn't have that and it doesn't taste like that. You can tell that it's definitely some smoked powder. I'm actually going to make some smoked powder. I've got a bunch of powder that I've kind of been uh, stashed away. Um, some for some more tincture that I still got tincture. I got a filter. But um, I'm just not a fan of liquid smoke. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are. And then look here, guys, if you're watching this and you haven't, do me a favor. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos. Um, you guys notice I'm getting back going again. It, I've been out of the business uh, trying to get back in the game. It's been rough, guys. You know, um, a lot of stuff going on. But, you know, I get joy from this. And I've been dealing with a little bit of depression. And I'll be honest with you, this helps me deal with it. So it, this is like therapy for me. And I, I'm actually kind of kicking myself for not making more videos because you know that this is a release it's, it's it's therapy you know and why not take advantage of something like that if you've got something that gives you okay if you guys are new to the channel i usually try to give some good advice at the end of videos not all of them but i try to but if you have something that's been weighing on you think about the things that you do have in life that you can be thankful for or things that bring you joy and try to focus on those things. If you're a believer, the Bible tells us focus, you know, there's, there's a scripture that says, you know, fix your eyes or think about, you know, things that are good, right, you know, and I forget what scripture is. I don't know the address of it, but if you're not a believer, I'm going to tell you there's something to be said about 
uh, looking at positive things instead of negative things. Um, you know, whatever you believe, I t I'm telling you, become what you behold. You know, if you are looking at a bunch of negative stuff, watching a bunch of negative stuff, or stuff that's depressing, it helps to, to put you in more of a depressed mode. I'm telling you, this is I'm speaking from experience. And, um, you know, for what, what it does to me, so I try not to do that too much. Um, so, you know, try to focus on the things that you have in life that um, that you could be thankful for. Because I don't care what, like, I've met some homeless p people here in Vegas. I've done a bunch of ministry. Um, and I, when I say that, like, going to help them, giving out stuff and, you know, actually feeding them and giving them clothes. And, and you know what? Some of those people have more joy than people I know with a lot of money. You know why? Because they're thankful for the little things. And those things bring them joy, you know? So guess what? If you got a roof over your head, a place to sleep that's dry and... Might need to be cold if you live in the desert like I do, or it might need to be hot if you live where it's cold. You have something to be thankful for, food in your belly. You know, there's a lot of people that they have a lot less than what we have. I can tell you, I've witnessed it. And a lot of it's in this country. You know, you think about other countries, there's a lot of people in this country that don't have much. And some of those people are more thankful and have more joy than I got. So it kind of makes me kick myself. So anyway... Um, don't beat yourself up too bad, but do look at the good things you have, you know, the things that bring you joy. If you do have something that bring you joy, try to do that. You know, um, it helps, it's helping me get out of, um, some of my depression, which I've been dealing with. Um, you know, when, when you don't feel good and things like that, you tend to isolate and what happens, I can tell you, you know, if you're a man on an Island, guess what? You're all alone. Things ain't going to really get better. So the best thing to do is maybe talk to somebody. Um, you know, I can tell you that I've had so many of my friends that committed suicide and did all this other stuff. And some of the reasons were they isolated themselves. So, you know, I'm trying to get out of doing that myself because, um, you know, it's a dark road. And hear, hear me out. If you ever hear that the Grizz killed himself, you guys get together, hire a private investigator, and investigate. Because that didn't happen. No matter how bad it gets, I ain't killing myself. I love myself too much for that. And you guys can take what you want out of that, but I can tell you, investigate. I ain't doing that. But I do know some people that have, that have done that, and I've always thought, some of my friends, I'm like, man, maybe one more conversation, if they'd have just reached out, or maybe I would have reached out Maybe it wouldn't be in this. So, you know, if you've got a buddy maybe that you haven't heard from in a while, pick the phone up, give them a call. Um, maybe they don't live in the state that you live in. Maybe they're in your neighborhood. Go knock on their door. Say, hey, man, you know, if you, if, hopefully if he's not an alcoholic, show up with a couple of beers and say, hey, I'm going to sit down and drink a beer with you and talk. You know, don't do that if they're an alcoholic or recovering. Please don't do that. But if, you know, it might just be, they, they might need a cold beer and somebody to talk to. That's what I'm saying. So uh, try to do those things. Um, that's my advice for you today. Give you something to ponder. Um, try to be encouragement to somebody out there. Be an ear. Um, it might be a shoulder to cry on. You know, hey, ladies that are here watching, you know, maybe there's a lot of drama and maybe, you know, maybe... You need somebody to cry. And guess what? Guys cry too. Believe me. I was watching a show the other day. I was crying like a baby. I'm like, why am I crying? Because, you know, it's emotional. So guess what? Guys cry too. And if you don't, if you're a guy and you don't cry, you got some stuff that's in there that you need to let out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everybody can use somebody to listen to. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. That's my advice for today. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. I'm going to try to make at least one or two videos a week. Maybe, maybe get back to doing one a day. That's my plan. So hang in there. I'm not up to doing any challenges yet. Got to build up my tolerance. But look, I love every single one of you guys. Thank you for just supporting the channel. Like I said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos. And guess what? As always, stay spicy, pepper people.